In this video, I will show you an example of supernode. Using the concept of supernode, calculate the node voltages from the following circuit. This is our given circuit. In this circuit, we have to calculate the node voltages using the concept of supernode. So at first, we will identify the total number of nodes in the network. Here, this ground will be our reference node. So this will be a node. Okay. This will be another node. Let's say this is our node number one. This is our node number two. And this is our node number three. After identifying the nodes, we will assign VO equal to zero volt to the reference node. And V1 at node number one, V2 at node number two, and V3 at node number three. After assigning node voltages, we will calculate V1, V2 and V3. Before calculating the V1, V2 and V3, let me show you the simulation of this circuit. What will be the value of V1, V2 and V3? This is our circuit in the simulator. See, this is our ground or reference node. This is our node number 1, 2 and node number 3. If I simulate the circuit, I will see node 1 will have a voltage of 71.2 volt. Okay, remember this 71.2. Node 2 will have a voltage of 81.2 and node 3 will have a voltage of 321 volt. If I can show that the node 1 has a voltage of 71.2, node 2 has a voltage of 81.2 and node 3 has a voltage of 321, I will say my circuit analysis is okay. Now look between node 1 and 2, node 1 and 2, they are non-reference node. And between node 1 and 2, I have this known voltage source of 10 volt. As between two non-reference nodes, we have a known voltage source. I can say that node 1 and 2 will form super node. Now see, the positive terminal of this 10 volt source is connected at the node 2 and the negative terminal is connected at node 1. That means this terminal will be at higher potential and this terminal will be at lower potential. And the voltage difference between node 2 and node 1 is given by V2 minus V1, which is indicated by this known voltage source, which has a value of 10 volt. So I can write down V2 minus V1 equal to 10 volt. Higher voltage or positive voltage minus negative voltage will be equal to the voltage rating of the independent voltage source. So this will be our equation number one. After that, I will indicate the super node by replacing the voltage source with a short circuit. If I replace the voltage source with a short circuit, our circuit will look like this. Okay, and this will be our super node. If I merge node one and two, I will get our super node. After merging the node one and two, the voltage will not be changed. That means the node 1 will have a voltage of V1. This node will have a voltage of V2. Okay. After that, I will apply KCL, Kishop's current law, to the super node. Here, this 2 ampere current source is outgoing from the super node. This current is unknown. Let's say I assign this current as I1. This current is unknown. So it will be outgoing I2. And this current is also unknown. So I will assign this as I3. Now see, as all the currents are outgoing, so I can write down like this. I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus this 2 will be equal to 0. Now what will be the value of I1? I1 is the current that is flowing through this 30 ohm and the voltage difference between the two ends of this 30 ohm will be V1 minus V0 or 0 volt or I can write down like this V1 by 30 plus what will be I2? I2 is the current that is flowing through this 50 ohm. The voltage difference between this two end of the 50 ohm will be higher voltage minus lower voltage. Here higher voltage is V2. But minus 0, I will not write it down, plus what will be I3? I3 is the current that is flowing from node 2 to node 3 or super node 2 towards this node 3. It has a voltage of V3 as current is flowing from this terminal to this terminal. 
I will assume this node is at higher potential and this node is at lower potential because current always flows from high to low voltage or low potential. So I can write down V2 minus V3 divided by 40 plus this 2 equal to 0. Now I, if I take the LCM of the four terms I will get Six hundred. Here I will get twenty V one plus twelve V two plus fifteen V two minus fifteen V three plus twelve hundred one two zero zero. So if I rearrange this equation, I will get 20V1 plus 27V2 minus 15V3 equal to 1200. This will be our equation number 2. So I have equation number 2 which is equal to 20 V1 plus 27 V2 minus 15 V3 equal to minus 1 to 0 0. This will be equation number 2. After that, I will apply KCL at node number 3. If I apply Kirchhoff's current law at node 3, you will, you will see this 2 ampere, this 4 ampere are incoming. The current that is flowing through this 40 ohm is unknown. So let's say I assign that current as I4. As I, I4 will be flowing from this node 3 to this node 2, I can write down I4 will be equal to higher voltage minus lower voltage divided by the distance of that path. This is outgoing current will be equal to sum of incoming currents 2 plus 4 from which I can write down minus V2 plus V3 equal to 240. This will be our equation number 3. Now if I set V1 as X, V2 as Y and v3 as z in the equation 1 2 and 3 and write the equation 1 2 and 3 like this in the wolfram alpha equation solver i will get v1 or x equal to 285 by 4 y or v2 equal to 325 by 4 and v3 or z equal to 1285 divided by 4 so if i solve equation number 1 2 and 3 I will get V1 equal to 71.25 volt, V2 equal to 81.25 volt and V3 equal to 3 to 1.25 volt and our result is coherent with the simulation that means this node will have a voltage of 71.25 this node will have a voltage of 81.25 and this node will have a voltage of 3 to 1.25 volt that's it thank you